Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. And uh, let's get right into your reading, Aquarius. Let's, be, let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is the Page of Swords, the Moon card, Judgment, the Page of Wands, Partner or Person of Interest, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Five of Swords. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, I definitely see somebody looking at you. Definitely stalking you perhaps on social media. Uh, they're definitely very much trying to see what's going on in your life. Now, this could be past energy, uh, meaning it could be an ex-partner, someone that uh, perhaps there was a connection with in the past. Um, I see them looking very closely at what you're doing. Now, you do have here the Page of Swords with the Moon card. For some of you guys, you're going to be experiencing, I want to say, the end of the month, the beginning of December. There's going to be a decision that you're going to be making in regards to this connection. For some of you guys, you could have been communicating. Um, you could be communicating with a Virgo. I see water here as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, air energy as well. And Aries energy is here as well. Uh, Pisces type of energy. So I have most, for the most part, um, all signs here. So what they're saying is, you know, for some of you guys, um, the way this person is viewing you is they're definitely attracted to you. They're definitely being pulled towards you. It's like, I, like I said, I see them wanting to look at what you're doing, what's going on in your life. Um, this could be them like watching your socials. This could be even, um, reaching out and communicating, like, uh, asking you random questions just to open conversation. But I see you guys being guarded here in this situation uh, with the moon card and the judgment card. There's certain things that are still unclear to you in regards to this connection. And I feel that probably the beginning of December, you're going to be making a decision, either a decision to reach out, uh, to reciprocate the feelings or to see where this connection can actually go. Now, the way the person is viewing the situation, they're definitely interested in you and they're wanting they're wanting commitment. Now, with the Ace of Cups, it's almost like something drastic uh, that they currently may be dealing with in regards to emotions. So it could have been that for a while they were closed off emotionally. It could have been that perhaps they rejected the idea of commitment. Um, but I see them almost like, like I said, there's this transition that's happening with them where they're going to listen to their heart. And I think that that's something that they haven't done for quite a while. I see them very like protecting or wanting to protect their heart. And that could have been the reason why if you were dealing with them in the past, perhaps you felt like, you know, uh, this person is not really showing me where this is going. So you slowly, progressively started to walk away from that connection. And I see them like really missing you, wanting to get your attention, wanting to uh, see if you still have feelings for them or if you're still willing uh, to see where this can go. Um, with the Emperor card, I see them coming back and they're coming back very strongly for some of you guys. Um, it could be that they are actively um, telling you or being completely honest, like, hey, you know what? I know that, you know, at one point you were open, you were wanting to progress this connection. I wasn't ready. There was a lot of things that were still, that still needed to be done from the past in order for me to detach from that situation. But here I am and I'm ready. Now what they're saying here is the decision lies on you Aquarius because you do have the judgment card. So it's you the one that's gonna be making the decision. But I do see communication start to open up and maybe even seeing their side to the story because I feel like for some of you guys this could have been a relationship where there was no ending there was no breakup it was just like little by little you guys started to pull away 
um, and you didn't quite know what was going on because perhaps they just didn't feel like they were ready to open up or to let you know what they were dealing with. For some of them, they could have been dealing with the next. It could have been, um, it could have been a situation where they kind of tried to figure out um, if the, you know, if the past relationship was sal like being able to be salvaged. But I feel that they came to that understanding or the realization that they, in fact, have feelings for you, Aquarius. So, again, I see them coming back and they're coming back strong because we have the Hierophant here, which is commitment or being ready or being open with the Ace of Cups, being emotionally open to carry on a relationship with the Emperor card. Very strong type of masculine energy doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a male it could be a female um but they're very they've made up their mind or they made up their choice and the choice is you aquarius so if again if you felt that you know there wasn't really an ending to this it could have been that they were trying to figure out their emotions before they came to you with an offering and, and that's exactly what i'm seeing now, with the Five of Swords, what they're telling you here, when it comes to communication or when they reach out or when they communicate with you, if you're still interested in them and you still have feelings for them, Aquarius, put your ego to the side. Because I feel that for some of you guys, you can miss out on this opportunity. And the reason why you miss out on this opportunity could be because of ego. Because you feel like you were hurt or you feel like they just left you um in the cold and didn't really give you any type of explanation um and again you know what they're saying here is you know give this connection an opportunity and it's funny because i just pulled out um the love oracle cards and they're telling you give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so for some of you guys it could be reconciliation for others of you if there was like i said a connection uh, with a specific individual where you felt like you were the one that was ready to either make it official or take it to the next level and they weren't ready and they pulled away. Um, I feel that what they were doing is they were decluttering their heart from, you know, releasing themselves from past experiences, from perhaps past feelings. Maybe they were a bit confused between you and someone else. Um, and in, in normal situations, I would be like, you know, if a person has to choose between you and someone else, then, you know, do the favor for them and choose for them to deal with the other person and walk away from that. But what they're saying here is that they do have feelings for you, Aquarius. They do want to see where this connection can go. Um, I think that they were just still healing. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if the ex-person or the person from their past came back around and they wanted to... I don't want to say try, but they wanted to get clarity for themselves if they still had feelings for this person. And they came to the understanding that, that no, they actually have feelings for you and, and they're willing to fight for that connection. So give each other that opportunity. Put ego aside. Uh, detach from, you know, the you did me this way, so I'm going to do you that way. Because I feel that for some of you guys, you can actually... Uh, let this opportunity pass you by now for those of you guys that are single uh what they're saying here is there's someone that is definitely checking you out there's someone around you that could be very interested in you um the, now for some of you guys the the moon card with the judgment card i feel that people have a tendency of making like assumptions about yourself um or it could be that you come off a bit strong when getting to know someone. And what Spirit is telling you here is, again, you know, you got to release and let go of the past so you can be able to move forward in a positive way. Um, stop, you know, stop looking at the past. Stop comparing uh, partners from, you know, people that you're dealing with now to people from the past. If you want a different outcome, you have to take a different approach. And this represents that sometimes it could even mean you have a tendency of going after a specific type of person. And what they're telling you is you have to keep an open mind. Uh, you may actually be pulled or you actually may be able to manifest um, 
a relationship with someone that is not your usual type, that is not the type that you usually go for. And you may be surprised to find out uh, in the coming weeks that this person is actually interested in you. So again, keep an open heart and an open mind. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Wish you guys happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.